In a world divided, one man's relentless ambition would forge the largest empire ever known. Picture the vast, windswept landscape of the Mongolian steppes, where the story of a man destined to change the course of history begins. Amidst the harsh realities of 12th century Mongolia, a child named Temujin was born. Amidst the harsh realities of 12th century Mongolia, a child named Temujin was born. Amidst the harsh realities of 12th century Mongolia, a child named Temujin was born. With the howling winds as his lullaby and the rugged terrain as his playground, Temujin's early life was etched by hardship and resilience. The unforgiving steps molded him, taught him to survive, to endure, and ultimately, to conquer. The unforgiving steps molded him, taught him to survive, to endure, and ultimately to conquer. The unforgiving steps molded him, taught him to survive, to endure, and ultimately to conquer. As he grew, so did his ambition, fueled by the dream of uniting the fragmented tribes under one banner. As he grew, so did his ambition, fueled by the dream of uniting the fragmented tribes under one banner. As he grew, so did his ambition, fueled by the dream of uniting the fragmented tribes under one banner. His name would eventually echo through the ages, not as Temujin, but as Genghis Khan. The boy from the steppes would become a legend, a conqueror whose empire would stretch across continents. But who was Genghis Khan, and how did his conquests shape our world? Born into a world of tribal conflict young Temujin faced adversity from the start. His story begins in the rugged landscape of 12th century Mongolia, a place defined by harsh winters, fierce tribes, and an unyielding will to survive. The son of a tribal chieftain, Temujin's life was thrown into turmoil when his father was poisoned by a rival tribe. His family suddenly stripped of their status was cast out, forced to fend for themselves in the unforgiving steppes. Life in exile was brutal. Hunger was a constant companion and danger lurked around every corner. But it was this life of hardship that hewed the raw courage and relentless determination that would define Genghis Khan. At a tender age, Temujin learned to fight, to hunt, and most importantly, to lead. In the most desperate of times, Temujin was captured by a rival tribe. Far from being the end, his capture served as a turning point. Displaying a cunning mind and indomitable spirit he managed to escape his captors, an event that only solidified his growing reputation. But it wasn't just his prowess in battle that set him apart, Temujin possessed a vision, a dream of unity in a land fragmented by tribal conflict. He saw beyond the petty squabbles and power struggles that divided the Mongolian tribes. He envisioned a united Mongolia, a powerful force that could stand against any adversary. This vision ignited a flame within him, a flame fueled by every hardship and every battle. And it was this flame that led him to make a vow, a vow that would change the course of history. He vowed to unite the Mongolian tribes, to transform them from a collection of warring factions into a single, formidable force. These experiences molded Temujin, igniting his desire to unite the Mongolian tribes under one banner. The boy who faced adversity, who lived in exile, who was captured and escaped, was no more. In his place stood a man, a leader, a visionary, a man who would become Genghis Khan. Temujin's vision was clear, to unite the disparate tribes of Mongolia into one formidable force. But this was no easy task. The Mongolian steppes were home to numerous tribes, each with its own leader, its own customs, and its own thirst for power. For centuries these tribes had lived in a state of constant rivalry, their disputes often escalating into violent conflicts. Uniting such a diverse and volatile group under one banner was an almost impossible feat. Yet, Temujin was not deterred. He began by forging strategic alliances, marrying his daughters to the leaders of powerful tribes, and offering protection to weaker ones. He knew that unity could not be achieved through force alone. It required negotiation, diplomacy, and a delicate balance of power. But alliances were only the first step. Temujin also had to prove his strength in battle. He led his forces into decisive confrontations with rival tribes, showcasing not only his military prowess, but also his ability to strategize and adapt. Each victory bolstered his reputation and drew more tribes to his cause. In the year 1185, after a series of successful campaigns, Temujin faced his most significant challenge yet, the confederation of the Naaman tribe. The Naaman were a powerful force, and their defeat would signal the end of tribal rivalry in Mongolia. The battle was fierce, but Temujin's strategic genius prevailed. With the Naaman's defeat, Temujin's dream was within reach. The remaining tribes had no choice but to acknowledge his supremacy. In the year 1206, Temujin was proclaimed Genghis Khan, the universal ruler. He had achieved what no leader before him had, 
the unification of the Mongol tribes. And with this unification, he had created an army that was more than the sum of its parts. An army that was disciplined, loyal, and incredibly efficient. With his leadership, the divided Mongolian tribes were transformed into a unified, unstoppable force. They were no longer a scattered group of rival tribes, but a single entity ready to take on the world. The stage was set for the Mongol conquests, a series of campaigns that would forever change the course of history. With the Mongolian tribes under his command, Genghis Khan embarked on a series of ruthless conquests. His unyielding ambition and strategic genius would transform the face of Asia and beyond. The Mongol military, known for its discipline and mobility, was unlike anything the world had ever witnessed. Genghis Khan's first significant conquest was against the Jin dynasty in northern China. The Mongols, a seemingly uncivilized group of nomads, were underestimated by the mighty Jin. But with their superior tactics, including the infamous feigned retreat, the Mongols overpowered the Jin forces marking a turning point in world history. Next, Genghis Khan turned his gaze westward, towards the Khwarezmid Empire, a prosperous Islamic state stretching from present-day Iran to Uzbekistan. The Khwarezmid Shah, arrogantly underestimating the Mongols, executed Mongol emissaries, unknowingly signing his empire's doom. Genghis Khan retaliated with a full-scale invasion, his forces sweeping across the Khwarezmid lands with terrifying speed and efficiency. But the Mongol conquests were not just about brute force. Genghis Khan was a master of psychological warfare. He understood the power of fear and used it to his advantage. Before attacking a city, he often sent messengers offering peace in exchange for submission. If the city refused, the Mongols would unleash such devastation that word quickly spread to other cities, which would then surrender without a fight. The Mongols also had innovative tactics like using local guides for navigation, employing captured engineers for their sieges, and even using enemy civilians as human shields. These strategies were brutal, yes, but also undeniably effective in the rapid expansion of the Mongol Empire. Genghis Khan's conquests were ruthless, but they were also marked by a certain pragmatic respect for the cultures and technologies of the conquered. He adopted useful practices, integrated foreign experts into his administration, and even allowed religious freedom within his empire, all of which played a role in the sustainability of his conquests. In a remarkably short period the Mongol Empire had expanded across vast territories, reshaping the political landscape of Asia. Genghis Khan's legacy was one of power, fear, and paradoxically, a certain respect for diversity and innovation. Genghis Khan was more than a ruthless conqueror, his reign brought about significant advancements in law, trade, and culture. Sweeping across the vast plains of Asia, Genghis Khan left an indelible mark on the world, not just as a conqueror, but also as a lawgiver, a trader, and a cultural influencer. His rule was characterized by a blend of brutal military strategies and forward-thinking policies that have shaped our world in surprising ways. At the heart of his legal reforms was the Yasa Code, a set of laws that sought to unify the diverse tribes under his rule. The Yasa Code covered everything from property rights and family law to criminal punishments. It was ahead of its time in many ways, creating a sense of order and justice across the vast Mongol Empire. Genghis Khan also had a profound impact on trade. He revitalized the Silk Road, a network of trade routes connecting the East and the West. Under his rule, the Silk Road became safer and more efficient, leading to an unprecedented exchange of goods, ideas and cultures. This helped to stimulate economic growth and cultural exchange on a global scale. Not only did he boost trade, but Genghis Khan also established an intricate postal system known as the Yam. This network of relay stations allowed messages and goods to be transported across the empire swiftly and efficiently. It was a remarkable feat of organization and logistics further cementing his legacy as a visionary leader. But Genghis Khan's legacy isn't just about laws and trade. He also promoted cultural exchange, tolerance and intellectual growth. He encouraged religious tolerance across his empire, a rare trait in a time of religious conflict. Furthermore, he appreciated the value of learning and knowledge, often seeking the counsel of scholars and sages. Genghis Khan's rule was a paradox, characterized by both ruthless conquest and enlightened governance. He was a complex figure, a man who could be both a brutal warrior and a visionary leader. His reign left a profound and lasting impact on the world, reshaping the political, economic and cultural landscape of the time. Genghis Khan's legacy, complex and multifaceted, continues to fascinate us. The Mongol Empire reshaped the world, touching lives across continents. 
Its influence was not fleeting but has endured, rippling through centuries to reach us in the present day. It was an empire that revolutionized communication, law, and trade, leaving its indelible mark on the annals of history. Genghis Khan, a figure of paradox, was a conqueror known for his ruthlessness, yet also a visionary who brought about advancements that still impact our world. His rule saw the rise of the Silk Road, a key artery of trade and cultural exchange that connected the East with the West. The Mongol postal system, another innovation, was a marvel of its time, enhancing communication across vast distances. As we reflect on the lasting impact of the Mongol Empire we find ourselves in modern Mongolia. From the vast steppes of Mongolia, Genghis Khan's influence extends far beyond his time, leaving a mark on the world that is still felt today.